Did you know that you need to have leads to have a successful business? Hi y'all, thanks for joining me. In the next 10 minutes, I'll be going over what leads are and why they're important for your business. I'm Dr. P, I'm a business coach and I've been a school psychologist in K-12 schools for about 10 years. I remember when I started my business, you know, a couple months rolled wrong and I was like, oh my God, I have no customers. I was like, what the heck? What the hell's going on? Maybe this whole business thing, this whole site gig based this thing isn't for me. And I really should be focusing on my nine to five, my full time job. But I was like, no, this is what I want to do in my life. I want to have my own business because I want to be able to not only have my own business, but to take that success and go after those dreams of mine, all those things that I wanted to get that I felt like I wasn't getting staying in a nine to five job working for somebody else. Right? So. It wasn't until I connected with a business coach that I found out that I needed these things called leads. And I was like, okay, lead, not lead, but a lead. It's like, what the hell is a lead, you know? Cause I hadn't heard about that. I've been working in education for a number of years, right? And in education, we have students and we have their families and we're serving students and families, you know, providing education. Then we also encourage students to pursue leadership roles for their own personal development. And we also were encouraging staff members to pursue leadership roles within the schools or within the school district and also within their community to become leaders within their community. But we never really had to go and get leads. So here is no, I'm doing my own business and I'm being told I need to go do leads. And I was like, okay, I really don't know what a lead is. So I decided, I really needed to find out what this thing was. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention, this was the second coach that I was with, um, coach slash mentor person when to help me with my business because the first person I was with was telling me, just go get some business cards and hand them out to every single person who basically looked at me. Then if that wasn't enough, the person always also told me to take, you know, sit down, write out a script and then just copy and paste that script to every single person that reached, reached out to me on social media. Needless to say, that was not working for me because I wasn't having any customers. I was just spending a lot of time doing those tasks and not getting what I wanted to get out of my business. I started to think that maybe my business was a mistake. And like I said, my business was not a mistake because it was mine and I know that I could do it. So I was really grateful for this second coach that I was able to come across and for this person to tell me that what it needed to do was to get leads. So and I asked the coach, what exactly is a lead? You know, what the heck are they? And are you ready for this? This earth shattering information on what a lead is. I mean, seriously, you should really sit down for this because here's the thing. The coach said to me, a lead is basically someone who's interested in your business. Seriously, someone who's interested in your business can become a lead. And I was like, what? Someone who's interested in my business is a lead? Seriously, is that all this is? So I was like, all right, I got this. But then I was like, why was I thinking it was so much more complicated than that? You know, someone who's interested in my business, someone who's interested in what I'm selling, that's what a lead is. And then it got me to be like, but how do you know somebody's interested in your business? And because again, remember my first mentor said, anybody who looked at you, give them your business card. Is that how they showed interest? Can't be because I gave them a business card and they never reached back out to me. Or was it the copy and paste message? Can't be because I sent a hell of a lot of those and didn't get back anything. So that couldn't be how they're showing interest because I wasn't getting anything back. So how do they show interest? And here's the thing. You find out that somebody is a lead and they're showing interest in your business because you exchange information with them. You get either their name, their phone number, or their email address. And that's how the person is showing you that they're interested in your business. I was like, what? Seriously, that's simple. You know, get somebody's name, get their email address. Okay, yeah, their phone number. Okay, that's great. So it really got me to thinking about, hmm, all right, how, but still, what is this? How is this? How does this work for my business? Just checking. Are you still with me here? And I think maybe I should give an example. 
So this is what came to mind for me to really help me pull all this together. Because it's one thing to be on the outside, but then it's another to be on the inside, being the person creating and developing your own business. Okay, so when you're developing your own business, you look at things differently. And for me, I needed to figure out how this all came to play. Because again, a lead is someone who's showing interest, a person who's giving you information. So I like online shopping, right? I really love it. From the time it was a thing, I was doing online shopping. If I could get it online, that was it for me. I didn't have to go and stand online in stores. So I was like, yes, I can do online shopping. So when you're shopping online and you go onto a website from a company that you are familiar with, or somebody told you to go check out something, you know, check out this new business, this new company, or this new service or product, you go, and if you don't already have the website address, you kind of put it in Google, then Google, you get the link and you go to their website. Then when you get on that website, something happens. When you first get on that website, this thing pops up, right? And when it pops up on your screen, it is either offering you like 50% off or 20% off or something, 70% off this purchase that you make in this sitting or for a future purchase, or they may even just be offering you something free. But in order to get that thing, you know, that percentage off or that really good deal or that free item, what do you have to do? There's usually a little bar in there where you just have to put in your email address. And depending on how much you really want that product, you might be saying, hey, let me put my thing in here because I might end up buying something in this visit and I don't want to miss out on that 70% off, right? Or, oh my gosh, this free product, it sounds like something I really need. So yes, here's my email address. And once you click submit, that little thing disappears off your screen and then you can proceed like normal shopping around on their website. And sometimes you actually leave the website without even making any purchase whatsoever, right? Then a few days later, what happens? Something pops up in your in inbox, you know, if you gave them your email address or you might get a phone call if you gave them your phone number or a text message, which, whichever thing it was that you gave. But I know for me, oftentimes it's usually an email address. So then this email pops up and you're like, whoa, how on earth this person is sending me an email? I, you know, I never bought anything from that company because we forgot, hey, you didn't buy anything, but you signed up for something. And even though there might be some things when you go onto a website, right? You click out of that little box the first time it comes up, but then you end up buying something, kind of kicking yourself like, Shh, I should have really signed up for that coupon at the beginning. But then the person, the company, sorry, at the end of it, when you're going to check out, they might ask you, do you want to check out as a guest or do you want to check out as a member, you know, to sign up? Sometimes you're like, no, I don't want to sign up because you're going to just send me things. But the thing is, is when you use check out as a guest, they still kind of get you, so to speak. Because when you sign up for a guest, they ask you, do you want to continue to get coupons? I mean, you click that yes, that checkbox. Guess what? You're now becoming a lead for that business. So for me, it was finally coming together and making sense. It's like, okay, that's how people show interest. You know, they have a form, they fill it out, you get their information. And that's how they begin to show interest. And that's the first step in this thing called a sales funnel. You know, again, you're having your own business. So you really need to become familiar with these terms. So you need to have leads who are showing interest. You need to obtain information from them. Then they're entering into your sales funnel because eventually you want this person to become a customer. You want this person to be buying from you. So you also want to make sure that you're not just getting an endless amount of leads and not really getting any sales. Don't get me wrong, every lead, every person who's interested might not be a buyer, but you do want to be able to have a system in place where you can differentiate a, um, what do you call it? a qualified lead from a person who really just clicked on your thing because it kind of like knows you're curious to see what it is, but they don't necessarily plan on proceeding forward with a purchase. So you have to incorporate into your business plan a way to determine whether or not somebody is a qualified lead because those qualified leads are more than likely going to become customers and therefore your business is going to grow. So you want to make sure that, sorry, I said that part already, you know, in terms of having that qualified lead. So how do you determine a qualified lead? You know, there's a process you can do 
to help determine whether or not your lead is a qualified lead. And that process is called follow-up. Follow-up is really crucial to your whole sales funnel. If you are not following up, then how are you going to know that this person is truly serious? And the follow-up can come in many forms. It could be on social media. It could be an email. It could even be a call like, whoa, you know, an actual phone call or a video call, a virtual call. The point is, is that you want to make sure that you are following up with people who show interest. Because remember, when you're online shopping, you put your email address in there. You might not buy it in that same time. But they send you another, they send you an email. So they're following up with you and tell you about this great deal, you know, that they have going on for that day of the week or what's coming up. And they're still sharing this information with you, even if you don't make a purchase. Because here's another thing to remember. Just because somebody doesn't buy from you right now, doesn't mean they're not going to buy from you in the future. So that's why where the follow-up becomes very important. So like we discussed in this video, you need leads in order to have a successful business. And those leads are people who show interest. You get their information, you know, so that you can connect with them. Then you go, you put them through a process to make sure they're a qualified lead. And your whole aim of all of this is to convert them into a customer so you could grow your business. So I hope you got value from that, from this video. Like, like this if you got value from it. Remember, solutions, actions, results, y'all. Bye.